Sam, mitzvah day is coming up. Sam, sorry, Sam, mitzvah, what does that mean again? You know, that's a good point. Let's start out with the translation of mitzvah. I've actually been gathering translations of this word for a long time. At first, rabbis really tried me to stop saying good deeds in favor of commandments. But then I met other rabbis who in fact said, no, good deeds is accurate. But I also encountered translations such as instructions, tools for tshuva, righting our wrongs, and some things that are very important to me, me being God. I have come to love the translation of mitzvot as directions. God is like a director of a play, and we are the actors. But why do we call one day mitzvah day? Well, Sam, if I may, let me answer you in song. Okay, one mitzvah leads to another. I get it. If we all come together as one community and each kindle the light of mitzvah, of mitzvot, our community will grow stronger like a flame and we'll see more mitzvot. More good deeds and directions take place throughout the year. So Sam, what's the plan this year? Well, Kol Tikva has an incredible do-it-yourself mitzvah day program this year. On November 1st, from the safety of your car, you can come pick up your mitzvah project kit with all the supplies you need for your family to complete six different mitzvah projects from, uh, for very important organizations. So Sam, what are these organizations? The mitzvah projects are for our soldiers here and in Israel, kids in crisis, and the animal society. Not to mention, we're gonna be collecting for the West Valley Food Pantry, Sisters on the Streets, and LA Family Housing. And fifth grade students and up can get Kemach credits towards their B'nai Mitzvah. So much, uh, so much mitzvot that you can do so conveniently in two trips to Kol Tikva. So see you there, pick up on November 1st and drop off November 15th. Sign up now. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. I thought you were going to say Shabbat Shalom. I thought I was going to say it. <laughs>